Okay, folks, Carlton Flowers here with Gadget Gurus with the tech update here. And tonight we're going to be talking about the uh, issues that are going on with the iPhone, particularly the 5C. And it's something that I'm also seeing on the 6 and especially the 6 Plus. What we're looking at right here is the inside of an iPhone 5C. And I've got the camera kind of focused in on the touch digitizer port and the LCD port connectors and then we have the microphone connector this is the LCD and then this is the touch uh, sensor port and so when you uh, hook up your LCD here here's the um, plugs that are on the cable that go into those um, ports and what I am noticing is that with the iPhone 5s or 5c sometimes when you uh, get into one of these and you repair the phone you get into the situation where you plug up both of these cables the touch and the LCD and you get nothing on the screen or heavy lines or whatever and then when you take off the touch connector and just hook up the LCD everything is fine you can see the picture and of course you can't get any touch functionality without this one connected so what that tells you is that there is a problem either with the touch port or with that LCD and that functionality for the touch if it's messed up on the side of the port or on the actual cable here with your replacement LCD here's a replacement LCD right there is what it looks like um, if you have a problem on either side plug or port it will mess with the LCD and it will not work something else that I noticed is that one out of every say 10 maybe 10 percent of the time on an iPhone 5c if the phone is really damaged and really cracked up when it's dropped shattered and broken um, you end up putting on your new screen and the touch port will not work at all it's just hammered and the only way that you can get anything on the screen is by just connecting that LCD uh, plug right there now one thing you can do when the touch port is damaged, if this sustains damage, either one actually, there are people, there are surface people out there that can do the micro uh, soldering and they can take out that port and put in a new one and flow in a new connector. And you've got to have the equipment and the knowledge to be able to do that. And I right now don't know how to do that. I'd like to learn and maybe look at getting the equipment. But with the 5C, you're going to run into a problem. On half of the iPhone 5C's out there, your logic board, and this is your logic board, that's the motherboard and the phone, in order to solve a problem that they were having where some of these phones would get water damage and it would short out that logic board and ruin the phone. So Apple in manufacturing started putting a black grout, kind of a tar-like grout substance on the back of the logic board. So now when you flip that over, that's where when you put in this new touch port connector, you have to flow in the new uh, the solder to the back pins of the uh, logic board. And that's how you make that connection. But when you got that black grout on there, there's no way that you can clean that off in order to get your new touch port connected to the board. And I have not found anyone out there that can do that. And the Apple geniuses cannot do it. I called our... Uh, Apple store in St. Louis, Missouri, and they said that it's not possible to do that. So if you damage this port on a 5C that has the grout on the back of the logic board, you're done. There's nothing you can do with that phone, and if you have not backed up the phone, your data is lost forever, or it's just going to be stuck in this phone forever until somebody invents some kind of way that they can extract that data. Because when you hook this up to a computer, with iTunes the way it works right now, you have to confirm on the computer that, or confirm on the phone, it'll say, allow this computer, is this a trusted uh, computer? You touch the screen and you confirm that you want to make that connection, then you can do the backup and copy all the data out of the phone. So without the ability to touch, you cannot confirm after you make that computer connection and you're not going to be able to save that data. And if you're on iCloud, well, you can't navigate anywhere on the screen to activate a backup. So it's very important that you back up your iPhones. Now on the 6 Plus and the 6, the, the connectors here are bigger than what you see here. Like when you compare the iPhone 5C connectors to an iPhone 4 or 3GS, these are smaller on the 4. You've got a longer um, connector and you got more pins 
And then another thing that I'm seeing with these, if, if you'll notice that the back of these has a little bit of foam, black foam, um, but it's an actual metal back. You can see it on here on the replacements, they don't have that foam. And these are so thin, if you'll see that, it's so long and thin that sometimes it will get bent. And when you look at this one in a profile view, it's perfectly flat. But after you've been messing around, sometimes if you push this on wrong, you can bend that. And then it's not going to work right when you plug it up to that phone. Now with the 6 Plus, they're even bigger than what you see here. And there's more of a propensity for that to get messed up. And then I've also noticed that with the 6 Plus, the more times that you connect and reconnect into these, even when you're being as super careful as possible, you're going to end up damaging those ports. And then your touch screen won't work or the screen won't come on at all. And it could be a combination of things, the quality of the actual replacement LCD or damage to your ports. So that's something that you want to really, really watch out for if you're into repairing and dealing with the iPhone series from the 5 on up. Watch those ports. Check out the blog at www.carltonzone.com and just hit the link to the blog in the menu section on the top. Check out the articles. I'll be writing about this issue and several others that you're going to run into when you're dealing with Apple devices. And I also do a lot on Samsung and LG. Those are two other common brands that I do repairs on. So we'll be talking about those two in the future. So Thanks for checking out the video, and we'll see you soon on the Carlton Zone. I'm out.